Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Uh, we're going to do another quick hitter edition today, and we're going to go back into the uh, Skinny Joey, Genovese crime family podcasting controversy, uh, this uh, stalemate that, seems to, that we seem to be at between um, the bosses in New York and the Bruno Scarfo crime family in Philadelphia, the boss... The alleged boss, uh, Skinny Joey Merlino, has been uh, building a social media brand for the last six months, has been podcasting with a, a platform called The Skinny. And as we've been reporting here, there was a bit of a slow reaction to this. But as of the last uh, month or two, it seems to have really uh, gotten the New York bosses up in arms. Um, and I'm going to report right now on this that uh, now... Handsome Stevie Mazzone, Joey's longtime, you know, close friend, underboss. He was conciliary at one point. Um, is or I shouldn't say he's he's always he's I, I'm confusing him and Borghese. Uh, has always been Joey's underboss. Uh, that he's being contacted right now uh, in prison. Has been uh, reached out to by both guys in Philly as well as guys in the Genovese. They want to get him. Uh, to put in his two cents here. And frankly, they want him to try to fix the problem. Uh, I know that him and Joe Legambi, Uncle Joe, uh, longtime acting boss, conciliary, uh, he has also been uh, tasked to kind of come out of semi-retirement and deal with the fallout from this. There's been a lot of meetings going back and forth the last couple of weeks. And I'm being told that Philadelphia was made aware of this issue when Sonny Mazzone uh, came home from his one year in lockup. Stevie's got five more years to do. They're both uh, having to do time based on a, a racketeering conviction. And I'm told Sonny came home with a message that uh, then set into motion these series of sit downs and negotiations and that the Genovese are looking to Stevie. Now, Stevie's always been you know, the straw that stirs the drink here uh, has always been a guy that it has been a, a kind of a good cop to Joey's bad cop, has been somebody that everybody likes. And I've I'm told that in in one of these very uh, important meeting of high ranking members of the Genovese, uh, the prevailing thought was that if Stevie was free, Stevie's been locked up uh, about a, a little over a year now, um, that he wouldn't have allowed this to happen. I know one, I'm told one guy said, uh, you know, Stevie would have got on a plane and gone down to Florida and stopped this from happening. Everybody knows Joey's uh, relocated to South Florida now. He's no longer in Philly, but the FBI insists that he's still running that uh, Bruno Scarfo family in Pennsylvania through a series of buffers and proxies. Uh, Joey says he's retired. We also know that Joey doesn't care that there's blowback coming from New York City. He He's saying that, you know, mind your own business. Um, this is me trying to go legit or has having gone legit and uh, I'm going to do what I want to do. But that from what I'm hearing, that ain't playing. And uh, guys like Stevie and Joe Legambi uh, are having to almost on a daily basis deal with this right now. And we don't know how it's going to uh, resolve. I've heard a lot of different scenarios. I heard there are people uh, within the five families that want Stevie to take the family, um, uh, the, the Philly, the Philly mob. They want Stevie to take over from prison, um, rearrange it, uh, restructure it. And then when he comes home uh, in, in four or five in four years, uh, he'll be the boss. I've heard other people uh, that just want to uh, anoint uh, the acting boss right now, Georgie Boy Borghese, that he becomes the official boss. Um, I know that there's been some shifting in and out for guys that uh, were liaisoning for, for Philadelphia to the New York group. I know there's a new guy right now, I'm told. I'm not, uh, not going to name a name, but I'm going to say it's somebody that's very close to Stevie, uh, was brought up there at some point point in the last month and introduced to the guys in New York as being kind of the new go-between that speaks to the high esteem they, they put Stevie Mazzone in. And again, only time will tell here, but there's a lot of people that are looking to the prison walls, uh, Loretto, Pennsylvania, FCI, Loretto, and 
uh, and Stevie Mazzone to get this situation under control. Um, but right now, I think, again, it's still a lot of stuff's up in the air. Meetings are still taking place uh, almost on a weekly basis. I think there is a belief that they want to see what happens after Joey's next big media appearance. It came out this past week that he's in negotiations with DJ Vlad to do a big interview on Vlad. I know that did not sit well with the New York guys that were already sending word for him to cease and desist, uh, get off uh, the internet as quickly as possible. And then uh, these problems would go away. And Joey's response is to leak out through Jeff Nadu and the sit down news um, that he's negotiating to go on Vlad. So that just really put fuel on the fire. And again, I'm reporting that uh, Stevie is being asked to chime in here. I've also heard from people that have visited Stevie um, since the holidays that this entire situation with Joey has got him quite upset and knowing that uh, all these ripple effects uh, go well beyond Joey down in South Florida and that whole crew that's putting together the skinny uh, Kevin Conley action Action Park Media, a little snuff in those guys who do a great job. And, and there's no doubt. Uh, very entertaining. Um, they've they've developed a rabid niche following. Guys uh, swear by it. They love seeing Joey on this platform, being able to, you know, be freewheeling and, and shoot from the hip. But uh, not going over real well in New York. And people are going inside prison walls uh, with Stevie to try to get him to exert some authority. I know that uh, one of Barney Belomo, who's the Genovese, the boss of bosses, the most powerful boss in, in the American mafia. Um, I know that uh, his protege, uh, Ralphia Balsamo, the undertaker, uh, is one of the people that's in prison right now, um, kind of running point for the uh, any prison meetings that are taking place uh, regarding this. And I know that at one point in time, I believe uh, Sonny and Ralphie were locked up together in some point in this last year. So uh, that's my report. Uh, I'll have more coming out about what, what's going on with this uh, Skinny Joey, uh, Barney Belomo controversy and how it all shakes out. Uh, it's ever evolving, new stuff popping up every day. But as of right now, it looks like Stephen Mazzone might, be getting a promotion from prison possibly uh or at the very least he is um reaching out to people outside prison walls to try to fix the problem that's happening with his podcast so uh for benny behind the glass i'm scott bernstein og pod out